he lives in London. Cheerio. And so does Joey Buchanan. Ta-ta. Bummer. Who's next? Actually, Kim gave me the tickets. Wow. Lucky guy, so you two are going. No. No, no. The tickets were actually kind of a gift. Uh, you take them. Skylar, that... <laughs> that's so nice. You don't want to go yourself? You know what? It's, it's last minute, and I don't have anyone to go with. And plus, I didn't spend two hours online trying to find them. So you go to have fun. What? Yeah, yeah, take them. You and Rex can go. Skylar, that... <laughs> that's so nice. You don't want to go yourself? You know what? It's, it's last minute, and I don't have anyone to go with. And plus, I didn't spend two hours online trying to find them. So you go to have fun. Well, I'd love to, but, um, Rex and I already have plans for tonight. Oh. Well, you can't move it for a hill bop yeah. No, no. This is big. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to couples counseling. Oh. Oh, oh. well, that's, that's... That's something guys hate. You bet. Yeah. <laughs> and you're grinning. I am, because... Rex is willing to do it anyway, and I know that it's going to make us a lot stronger, and, oh, and I love that. You want my help? You got it. Oh, thank you. But, but I get involved in an open police case without their permission. They could take my PI license, and I don't know what I can do that they are not doing already. I do. I found this in our room. Why didn't you give it to John? Because I want a head start at finding Jared. So you can talk him into turning himself in? Right, after I find out the whole story. You promise? Yes, Rex, I swear, but we have to get to him first. So, the lakeside. Did you ever go there? I've never even heard of the town. I have, it's hours from here. Well, that's good that we're starting now, then. Whoa! Rex, this is a manhunt, okay? We only have a few hours. Natty! I can't go tonight. This could be the most important night of my life with Rex. Wow. That's big. Yeah. He's committed enough to do something really hard for us. Rex, I can't do this alone, and you're the only one I trust. Tomorrow. No. Maybe. No, that's later tonight. But okay, late. No, you don't know what I I feel like everything is closing in. Okay? If we don't find Jared tonight, I am afraid I'm never going to see him again. Please, you have to help me. Rex, it's already a statewide manhunt. Okay? Jared probably knows that. That means he's, he's going to run or the cops are going to get to him first. And God only knows what he's going to do if he's desperate. Please. Okay, just let me call Gigi first. When she hears what no, it no, is... No, 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 no. What? You can't tell Gigi. Gigi works for John. She breathes a word. He'll find out. You're right. That was easy. We are withholding evidence in a double murder. If I tell Gigi anything, she'll be part of it, too. Rex, I'm sorry. Forget it. God knows I've done worse with less reason. I'll handle Gigi. Who knows? After tonight, I might even be able to stomach my sister. Yeah, therapy ain't that miraculous. Or fast. I'm looking for the good. But it can save your life and your relationships. That's better. <laughs> so, so Stacy's still there. Big problem between you two. She claims she's carrying Rex's child. Okay, stupid question. No, it's not. Yeah, she's a problem. She's a big one, but she's not the only one. Hey. Gigi, I gotta say this really fast, and I'm really, really sorry, but I can't go tonight. What? Something came up. Work. Something huge. I have to go to town. Tonight? You, you can't leave tomorrow? No, I can't. That's it. I, I, can't, I can't say more. 
I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't really, really important. More important than us? Okay, Jared Banks. Hot and local. Right, uh, but he's been by marriage to Rex's sister, actually. He's also wanted for two murders. Three strikes again. This family is damn near useless to me. Too bad the kid in the wheelchair is so young. Wait! Huh. I think I found you, Mr. Right, Nick Cannon. I can't leave. I, I will explain everything as soon as I get back, okay? We'll reschedule, and I will go as soon as I get back, okay? Okay? Okay. Did I just ruin your life? No. It's fine. It's just, it's just one night. Max, I don't know what I would do right now without you. Let's go find your husband. Rex doesn't have time for us. That's not what it sounded like. Oh, no, he just took a top-secret job that he can do, no problem, but if I hear a word about it, I'll be in trouble. Does that make any sense to you? No, it sounds like it's dangerous, and he didn't want to worry. Then what the hell is Rex doing taking a job like that? He has a son to think about. And you. Yeah, well, obviously, I am way down the list. Gigi, I highly doubt that. Oh, you're defending him? No, not... Uh, no. Sorry, there's just nothing you can say right now. Yeah, I got that about five minutes ago. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do tonight? Go home and worry about Rex all night with not a clue what to do about it? No, no. You're going to take these Hail Bob tickets and you're going to go with me to the concert because I think that's the only thing that's going to distract you tonight. Sold. Talk to me. Okay, so he's single, and he's not wanted for murder, and he's a citizen of Lambia. All good. And he has a really high-powered job, so he works all the time, so you could totally shop all day long. And spend his dividend checks. He's kind of cute, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think you should totally go for it.